The University of New Mexico's Voice and Opera Department presents Die Fleremas as part of the 2014-2015 season. The Viennese masterpiece has been a staple in the opera world since its premiere in 1874. The production features dialogue and vocals in English translated from the original German. It's a great way to introduce yourself into the world of opera. And joining us now to talk about the production is Leslie Humphrey, professor of music at the University of New Mexico. Thank you for joining us. Oh Leslie, my gosh, thank for you for in. having yeah, me absolutely. here today. I know you guys are busy. You have opening coming up. Uh, yeah. First question though, you know, and a lot of people, I'm, you know, I grew up in theater. That right. was my thing. Yes. Um, yeah, some people may be a little put off by opera, or a little intimidated by I've opera. I've personally <gasps> never seen it. Oh. Yeah. So why why does it remain so relevant in the 21st century? Well, I just think that you know it speaks to the human condition, mm -hmm. and it tells maybe a specific story. It has a love story, perhaps, or um, it takes a microcosm of a historical moment. Mm -hmm. And um, and in this case, uh, Fledermaus is about a specific time period in Vienna when it was a very cosmopolitan city. It still is, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, you'll find that there were people during that time uh, from all walks of life with uh, from everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, and it's represented in this piece. Yeah. Okay. And I think the other part of it is the incredible talent that people have yeah. when they're up there. So, how many students are currently part of it? So in the vocal area at the University mm -hmm. of New Mexico, many people are surprised to find out that we have between 65 and 75 young people pursuing classical singing. Wow. And in this production, it's double cast, but you'll also see we have about 25 kids on stage. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And in the program as is, is, is a whole, the voice and opera theater program, how yeah. large is that program? Because it is a subset of the Department of Music, is that right? Absolutely. Our whole program, in, in terms of how many musicians we have, we have between four and five hundred students wow. okay. in okay. the Department of Music. Yeah, it's quite large. Okay. Wow, yeah. Wow. Now, yeah. how many um, operas do you all produce annually? So what we do is in the fall, we produce operas that are scenes from specific operas. Okay. okay. And then every spring, then we have a fully orchestrated production with costumes from Santa Fe, mm -hmm. uh, the UNM Symphony Orchestra mm -hmm. accompanying our singers. Wow. And then this past fall, we did something interesting and different. We went on tour to Gallup really? and brought That's opera cool. to about 1,500 young people. Wow. So what was the response to that? It was overwhelmingly yeah. positive. Kids were, we, we took uh, a piece called The Trials of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Okay. And the kids were just so thrilled to see this. So it was a, a wonderful experience for yeah. us and our students. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, speaking of, you know, introducing uh, a new audience to opera, you know, obviously I'm sure the Gallup doesn't have a lot of opportunity to experience opera. True. So that's great that you take it to yes, them. Yes, thank you. Um, is, this, is this a great production to introduce someone if they have never been to the opera because I understand it's translated into English from German right. so you don't have to go in and worry well they're speaking a different language what yeah. are they saying because you you break that barrier down so does that make it a little more accessible to an audience that has never experienced the opera yeah it really really does and if we did something perhaps in the past we've done something in a foreign language we always have the super the titles subject. going so that's really really helpful but okay. you know Flater Mouse is hilarious okay and so um, I would say this piece is more akin to musical theater, frankly. Really? Okay. Yeah, because of, there's so much more dialogue and it's really an operetta. So I, there's just something for everyone in this. It's okay. very, it's so much fun. That's great. So now, much if, fun. if somebody at home wants to go see the production, yes. when, where, how can they go? Okay, so we are opening tomorrow night. 7.30, so we go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 7.30, and Sunday matinee at 2, and unmtickets.com. Unmtickets.com, okay. and which theater is it performing? Keller Hall. Keller Hall, okay, yeah. great. So it is in the Center for the Arts, yes. right across from Rody Theater and Pope Joy Hall. Exactly. Uh, for more information on the Fleur de Mouse and the UNM Voice and Opera Theater Program, head over to casa.com. We'll have all the links there. Thank you so much for oh coming gosh, in, Break thank Legs. thank you so thank much you. for do you having say, me. Do you say Break Legs in the eye? I know you do we in the theater. We do say so Break, break Legs. Leg. Absolutely. Okay, right. fantastic. Okay, so so I'll break, break one. Yes. There you go. Yes. <laughs>